Hey everybody, Jeremy Blum here with a quick video review. In today's video, I'm taking a look at the U-Factory U-Arm, which is currently in the middle of a Kickstarter campaign. You should go check it out following the links in this description. The U-Factory U-Arm is modeled after more traditional industrial robot arms that you might find on an assembly line. They've done all the work for you in terms of doing the inverse kinematics equations so that you can basically just tell the arm where you want to go in 3D space without having to worry about controlling each of the individual motors. It's pretty cool. Everything is open source, the hardware and the software, and I've really enjoyed playing with it so far. In this video, we'll do a quick unboxing of it, and then I'll show you some of the software that you can use to control it from your computer. We'll also take a quick look at uh, what's going on underneath the hood. Let's check it out. Overall, construction of the U-Arm is really solid. They did a very nice job with the design, a good job with the wire routing, and it seems really sturdy. When it was shipped to me, everything came uh, all intact and there were no issues. If you flip the arm over, you'll see that there's an Arduino Uno paired with a custom motor control shield. They did a nice job here. The shield is very simple, basically just a connection for an external AC power supply that they provide, the coupling capacitor, uh, and connections for all the servos, as well as the pneumatics for controlling the suction. On some versions of the arm, there's also a robotic claw instead of a suction mechanism. Overall, construction of the arm is really solid, uh, and I'm very impressed by the build quality. The arm comes preloaded with some easy to use software. There's already code on, running on the Arduino that interprets commands sent from the computer for controlling the arm with your mouse. Of course, this is an open protocol, and you can write your own programs that control the arm to do arbitrary things. Because they've taken care of all of the inverse kinematics for you, it's very easy to direct the arm to a specific location without having to worry about how to control each individual motor. The control program that uses a mouse that they provided uh, is surprisingly intuitive. Here you can see me moving my mouse around and the club does pretty much what you'd expect it to. Jogging the mouse wheel up and down uh, brings the end of the claw up and down in space and I can use my mouse buttons to pick up or drop down things using suction. Overall, it works really well and is a tremendous amount of fun. That's my review of the U-Arm. They've done a really nice job with the assembly and software for the product, and they've said that they plan to release more software to make it even more useful as time goes on. I love that it's all open source, hardware and software, and I think that it makes a great teaching tool. I personally don't have a tremendous amount of use for a robot arm that I can put on my desk. There's not a whole lot that I need to automate over here. Uh, but I see it as being a great teaching opportunity, especially since it's all open source. So if you're looking to get into robotics or maybe teach your kids robotics or Arduino or electronics software, I think this could be a really great platform to learn it on. It's, uh, it's fun to learn about the kinematics equations and to play with the open source software and communication protocol to make it do arbitrary things based on inputs from your computer, environmental sources, or something else. If you end up doing something cool with it, definitely shoot it my way, I'd love to take a look at it. Check them out on Kickstarter, or if the Kickstarter is already finished by the time you're watching this video, you can visit their website and I'm sure you can probably order the arm there. If you have questions or want to share something with me, be sure to shoot me a tweet, SciGuy14. You can also find me on Google+, Facebook, and the internet in general. I'm all over the place. And if you're looking to learn Arduino, don't forget that you can check out my book, Exploring Arduino. You can find it at exploringarduino.com. Thanks a lot for watching. Have fun hacking.